thing that you're mentioning is inflammatory breast CA, right? This is what it is. The history is of less than three to six months, actually three. Hmm? And uh, there is a rapid progression with the body orange, erythma, and uh, in duration, extending more than one third of breast. That is important. No palpable lump. That doesn't mean it is not there. It's because the skin has got indurated, so you are not able to appreciate it. Yes. With large, I mean, axillary supraclavical lymph nodes. In this patient, you also have a contralateral lymph node with yes. no lump in the other breast. So this node. What Surya is asking, would we need an FNAC? This is what he is asking. Yes. Why do you, what is the characteristic of that node? So it was mobile node. No, no, is it hard? Firm? Firm, sir. It was one and two. So one we need to establish it under ultrasound guidance. Yes. And if it is positive, yes. that would make it a M1 disease. But these would qualify making it into an inflammatory breast cancer and then the question that uh, Sukriti was asking where do you do the we'll do the core triple assessment naturally so core needle biopsy where you'll do it from you can do it from anywhere but do it under ultrasound guidance otherwise you may hit into the dry area no non-specific area or if you want to confirm the diagnosis of inflammatory breast cancer you should do a skin biopsy because you will have to see the subdermal lymphatics blocked with a Tumor thrombus. This is what confirms it. So for that you need this is skin. You need skin. Management is neoadjuvant chemotherapy. In this case, since it's an M1 disease, we may have to do you know primary chemotherapy and then mass MRN. There is no confusion about its treatment, adjuvant treatment. Most of them are triple negative. <coughs> Since most of them are triple negative, <coughs> they are put on. They respond very well to yeah, the chemotherapy, chemotherapy which is texan based, and then mastectomy, there is MRM, followed by adjun, chemo, and surgery. I mean, sorry, radiation. So that is what this case would be. But we should explain what kind of a workup would you do? You will do a metastatic work. She has been complaining of severe headache for the past few days. See, there you are. She is even symptomatic. Even if she was not, yes, the brain MRI is not a part of her routine metastatic workup, so we will have to get that done also. Otherwise, CT, thorax, abdomen, and pelvis. This is CT, okay? Yes. Bone scan. And since she is symptomatic, we will also get MRI brain. A lot of people feel that one test can do it, that is PET scan, which is 2B recommendation of NCCN. The reason is false positives in our country, but we still need to get it done. And that's how you are going to approach the management of this patient. Workup is very, very important. So primary versus palliative chemotherapy in this case? No, this is uh, an M1 disease. Everything that we do is with a palliative intent. No doubt about that. But since we are given the chemotherapy as the first therapy, that's why I'm calling it a primary. In this case, we use the word salvage surgery. Once you put the patient on primary chemotherapy, if there is a remnant disease or recurrent disease, then we do what is called as salvage surgery. That is the correct question. Salvage surgery term is used because it is to salvage the remaining disease and the remaining uh, or the remnant disease that we, we do the salvage for. What is the meaning of salvage? to save the, like, to, uh, 
rescue or to save? To save. Salvage means to save or to to protect yes. or to reclaim. Yes. You know, salvage respect, salvage things, salvage dignity. Salvage is kind of protection. Hmm? Which we have seen. Oh, sorry, triple assessment. And I have taught you what you do. You do a metastatic workup. Metastatic workup is required. Okay? Yes. And metastatic workup would be? I just told you what you do. So we do from CD of the chest, abdomen, pelvis, and bone scan. In this patient, because the patient is symptomatic, you do MRI. The patient is having giddiness. But you can do a PET scan. That is called a metastatic workup.